Hi guys, so today I have a really special set that Spellbinders brought to their site for uh, their new April releases. It is the Propagation Garden Collection uh, by Annie Williams. Super adorable. I will say there is a one it all bundle, so if you want all of the um, four sets, I believe, that are in the collection, um, they do have it as a bundle. Otherwise, they do have a la carte, you know, different pieces. I have three of them to show you. The one I don't have is the... Um, they might call it wood frames. Super cute. Just another way to frame up your little uh, creations. So uh, they did send these items free of charge for my review. And of course, all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. Um, I will say the basic item, of course, for your little propagation garden excuse me, will be the propagated plants, right? So you have your plants. This is the laboratory um, glassware, which I think is really cute, even for like uh, Halloween, how adorable would that be to make like some little fun um, concoctions in there and just have those with your Halloween uh, type of projects. And then I have these sentiments. So um, well, let's start here. So again, with the plants, of course, that is the meat and potatoes of the collection. So really sweet. I mean, we have all these different plants. I don't have a lot of examples to show you because I get samples so this one is definitely packaged the way you would receive it so you can imagine these would be something similar and they will have images I love that um, I do I have seen the packaging and you will see imagery for all these guys and these guys just like you see it here right so here they're showing you the sentiment but basically you'll have um, everything that goes with the glassware there oh there's the bubbles how funny <laughs> I have seen that earlier the little bubbles and I wasn't sure where they came from Hello, they came from the stamp set. So if you want something like that, you have that. Again, for Halloween, I think it'd be really cute. But anyhow, um, with these guys, it shows you exactly what each of these pieces um, looks like or should come together like. So you have this beautiful um, kind of like succulents, like, like in this one. You know, I always forget this bamboo or is that the money tree i don't remember what these are called <laughs> sorry guys and then maybe some like hostess type things and maybe like monstera plant type things so we have this beautiful guy we have this guy these are the accent pieces for this guy so if you have this guy being the base this would be the accent for the leaves and or the leaves themselves should i say and then these are the accent like veining for those leaves so three layers for that guy this guy is just the one um he does have some embossing and things in there to make him come to life uh, over here with this guy and i always forget what this is called now i want to say like maiden hair but that's something else so i don't know but either way it's that one kind of like succulent thing that looks kind of like i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but anyway you have that <laughs> and then it has these little bits that you can accent with so those are the accents for this guy this guy again we have a straight one we have one that's already curved these are the little like bamboo or little leaves that kind of come out of them and then that even has a second uh, layer if you want for those guys okay so those go together with these guys you have your base plant and this one only has the one layer with the leaves so really nice quick project on that one um, and then this one very similar, but they are different if you look at the actual leaves and kind of how they're positioned and everything. So this one was a little more monster, a little more something like that. Um, you have uh, the accent leaves that go on top of that. So basically if you did this a dark green and this a lighter green or something, and then those would pop, right? And then we have the um, rooting, right? The whole thing is propagation. So, you know, with these little guys, you can take a piece of that, put in some water, and after a while you get some roots coming out so you can have your roots. A couple different types of roots all right and then the glassware um, the lab glassware very cute they have um, you know a solid piece and then you have this piece that will definitely cut this portion I think this is only embossed because you have another piece down here for that so this is embossed this will definitely cut so if you want something that's like light blue and then something white so it looks like water and some clear areas maybe you can see that here um, on this one, they're doing some fun kind of formula looking stuff, but uh, you can imagine if you want to look like water and your little plants in there. Um, you have like a little test tube, uh, again, with the different portions on the inside. This one's like a little glass jar. This one's a little more, um, I was going to say Bunsen. What do they call these? Oh my gosh, I can't remember what these are called. And I was a biology major. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you have your glass, and then um, uh, over here also, I was only a bio major for a few years, okay, and I changed uh, majors. Uh, and then you have your little um, measurements on the side there, that are super cute, you're just going to pop that on. And then um, these bits are like accent pieces to this one, and this one, and this one, so you can cut them all at once. And then these are the accents at the top of like this guy, and then this guy is, you know, it's kind of... 
uh, crooked there, your little measuring kind of jar. Um, and then this is the accent for the base, like I was saying on some of them, right? It's just, this one doesn't have it, but it's for these three, where it's an embossed area, so you know where to place them, so that's what that is. Um, and then here they're showing you that maybe you wanted to go with like a darker color to give it some variation. So light blue, dark blue, you know, lighter orange, darker orange, or however. I'm going to play that up. And then the sentiments. So um, these do cut, oh actually this one also has little measurements if you want to use that instead of the um, die for some of these. Um, I was going to say it does cut basically this piece here. Look how cute it is. It's not just like a regular, it has like a little little notches here, very cute label, and then some of the wording, right? So, um, another smaller one here. Oh my gosh, that's like a little label for like for you. Cute, or maybe even thanks. Um, so this guy will help you cut some of these other ones, right? Happiness blooms here, welcome to my garden. It looks like they fit in that strip. Um, lots of cute things in here. Be leaf in yourself, some are punny. Thinking of you, happy birthday. I mean, that's for every, you know, it's not punny or anything like that. It's just that you can use for other projects. All things grow with love. Thanks for helping me grow. Um, let's root for each other and watch each other grow. That's really cute. Big things often have small beginnings, and that's just a few of them, right? So we have the little dots like I had mentioned. So what I'm going to do is just grab a card base and um, just have some fun. We're going to make some little plants. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, to get started, I have this uh, striped um, standard embossing folder from Spellbinders. I think I'm going to run this through just to give it some texture. So I have a standard A2 size card here, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of blue cardstock. Um, it's cut at four and eighth by five and three eighths. <laughs> Just thinking about that one which is my typical sizing I don't know why I thought about it so hard but I will run that through and then I have this little piece to kind of ground our little jars or glassware on um, the wood frames or I believe it's called wood frames are really cute you guys it's just like a little holder like if you were to be working with your plants or like a frame really adorable so that will help you also kind of ground your little projects but I'm just gonna put this on here and then have my little um, jars or however or whichever ones I'm going to use on there and so I am going to run that through and then we'll add this okay I'll be right back okay guys so we're just going to glue those down beakers that's the word I was looking for <laughs> our little beakers um, okay uh, let's go ahead and glue that down and I will say on the um, product page oh, both sides of this is so pretty this one's a little flatter I think I'm gonna go with that side I'm gonna glue this side down um, they will tell you the names of all the plants. I want to say one of them is like Peppermonia, Pepper, <laughs> Pepperamonia. No, something like that. I'm going to hold that down and I'm just going to glue this down. And this one is just roughly about one and a half inches by four and eighth. Of course, the same width, but just, just a little small strip of paper. It's, like I said, about one and a half inches. Okay, I will choose some things for maybe the glassware for the greenery, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so for this one, I'm going to work on my little beakers and glassware. Um, you know, you can kind of look at this. It looks like they made this a little more nuanced by also sliding this through whatever it is that you want to cut this so that you end up with this little skinny piece right here right if you want uh, I'm gonna make it a little more basic so we're just gonna run this guy through I have um, well not that one I was going to use these two I have some pearlescent white paper which I think would be fun for the background like for the actual you know beakers and jars and things and then these guys I'm gonna run them through some fun colors so um, white so we can get that top part in white but I have some like light green and green so I thought um, let's make some of the water look kind of funky and then light blue and dark blue for the other one for the accent piece right so um, I'm gonna run that through the light blue this one through the light green color that I have here also run them through white um, there's a few more steps I'm gonna need we have the I'm gonna cut that we have like the accent pieces on the side, which I think again, I'll probably run through these colors. Let me see, is this the one that goes with that one? It is, I'm gonna run it through the pearlescent. And then if this guy, let's get this guy just like a little one on the side, why not? That one, and then 
these are the accent pieces. So this one does have an accent for the top, and I'll run it for that one. And the accent for that guy on the top is this one, so I'm going to run that through. And then, again, a dark blue, a dark green. So dark blue and a dark green because the accents for the base of the water um, are both on here. So I'll run it through the green and through the dark blue. Okay, and then we'll work on our flowers in just a moment. Our flowers, plants. <laughs> I'll be right back. these essentially the same thing I'm going to take this portion and glue it on and then the little white portion and glue it on and then put our accent pieces uh, so let's I can actually probably fill this whole thing in there we go so put that guy there I will do exactly the same thing with this guy right and then we have this piece cute bring it over here for you guys to see a little better um, we have this little accent piece here and I just cut that again from the same color um, you can definitely accent it with a different color and they pretty much just layer right with each other um, and then I just chose the one from you know it cuts three at a time that fit here and that one looked to me to be the one for that. The other ones would be way too long or too short so it's pretty easy to find the one that you need. And then a little something to help us measure. Ah, uh, You know wherever you want to put that. So maybe here. I'm just putting it right on that edge. You can put it close to the edge, wherever it is that you like. But I'm going to do basically the same thing with this little guy. Just pop this here, pop that there, the green portion, the little accent, and then this piece that down the side. You guys, these are so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And then we're going to fill it in. And maybe this one's here. Maybe that one's on the edge or however. And then our sentiment, you know, those are so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to grab some greenery to help us with these guys so whatever I choose maybe some beige colors for like the roots or something um, but yeah so I'll be right back with some accent pieces for these guys okay I think what we'll do is with this guy we'll take our little monstera looking guy and I'm gonna cut this from here and then the accent from this like darker green I just grabbed whatever random greens look at this I just grabbed a pile of scraps that I have and we're gonna go for it um, and with this guy we're gonna get this one here and this one from here I know it's brighter but it'd be fun and then both of these guys from the very light almost a creamy color right um, would work really well if you really look at these plants it's kind of yellowish veining right but uh, I'm gonna go with just like a light green like this so I'm gonna run these guys through and then again since I have two plants um, I think they both well, I'll run both of these through and see just some creamish color paper and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so as always, I always say run as many pieces as you can at the same time, regardless of whatever machine you have. This guy's a little bit delicate. Oh, he is so cute. I love that though, kind of like the plant moves. <laughs> Alright, so we have that. Um, is that the one that just had? Yeah, okay. So, you know. Oh, funny enough, I had to layer some of these so I can get it all at the same time. Cute. Oh my gosh, okay, those are roots. And then this guy just has the accent pieces, so that's very easy. Quick. Um, 
Let me go ahead and bring everything out and then we'll start layering. So with this one easy enough, just going to find the coordinating leaves. I'm probably going to put the glue on this part because it's larger and it's right here and super easy to just kind of pop that guy on there, right? So there you go. And then I'll just, you know, pair them up, right? Easy. Uh, with this one, again, very simple. We're just going to add our leaves. I mean, you can layer them up before you put them on the plant if you want. But as I go, I'm just going to find like these two larger ones. And then we have three smaller ones. And I'll pop the three smaller ones on. And then again, with the die, you had two that had larger veining. And then three smaller ones. So just find the one. I'm trying to see if there's a certain spot. That looks pretty good. I know this is up here. Sorry, guys. I'll take the other one and then pop it there. Same thing with these guys. Okay. And I'll be back. I'm laying these down. They are different. Okay. So what I'm looking at is the very edge to see which one it matches up with best. And like that one matches up there. See how this one, the little edge is longer, you know, so you can kind of have an idea as you look at them where they might go or like how it's kind of twisted in there. So it is interesting. It's very organic and I love that. All right. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, guys, I mean, how cute are those? And then we have these, you know, with the roots. So we'll play with those in just a minute. And I'm so silly. I just realized when I go to place these, hello, I should have put this afterwards, this little accent piece, because otherwise it just looks like your plant is, like, sitting on top. Do you know what I'm saying? So we need to put another one. So, um, funny enough, I've been cleaning up as I go along, which I usually don't do. I usually do it after I'm all done. And so I had extras of this one, right? The one that goes with um, this little beaker. But I tossed them out. <laughs> so, because there was three, right? They're all the same. That's okay. Um, so I just ran that through. So we're going to do that again, okay? So maybe you want to save your accent piece, or maybe you want to double it up like I'm doing, because it actually looks just more sturdy, which is really cute. Um, okay. So, let's see, do I want to arrange these guys? Okay, so this root is obviously going to go in here because it's a little bit too big. I mean, I guess I could put it in there. It would really fill it up, which is actually cute. And if you want to do that, I would do that first and then put the accent piece over the top of that. But for right now, we're going to put this in here in a way that's kind of out of the way of that guy. So maybe we should have put our plants first. Sorry, guys. Actually, I could bring this up. Actually, it needs to be down lower, doesn't it? Yeah, because the whole point of this is that it's supposed to be touching the water. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to pop that in there um, in a fun way. <laughs> Too much science for me this morning. Let's see here. Yeah, we can put that like right there. And, oh, I didn't even decide if it was going to be this plant or this one going where, you know. Um... See which would make it easier. So cute. Yeah, we probably should have put that accent piece afterwards. I'm so silly. That is okay. Actually, I didn't really glue these down very well, so I'd probably get it under there if I needed to, but maybe this is a better option for this one. And then this guy can be wherever. Yep, okay. And that's just because of that. Okay. So let's see about this root. So I'm going to put that root as low as I can in here. And then we'll pop our little plant. So what I want to do is actually bring this over here and see how I need these guys to set up. And we'll have that there, something like that. This guy maybe down here. This guy in here, something like that. Cute. Okay, yeah, so I'll bring this one down lower. Cute, cute, cute. Yep. All right. Um, 
just eyeballing what I'm trying to do here. And you can definitely pop these guys up, even this guy, because he has really big leaves. Put some dimensional behind that, dimensional behind this, and it would bring it up, and that'd be really cute. I'm just going to pop that there, get that out of the way. For now. Just going to leave these very pretty flat. Cute. <laughs> and then again, I'm going to place this on top. So maybe all those accent pieces that go on the beaker, you want to wait. It's clear that's supposed to go down in there. How cute is that? I'm going to hold this down for a bit and then we'll work on this guy. Maybe the second guy, I'm going to bring it down here and then maybe we have our sentiment up here. So let's get this going. Which is totally different from what I had planned. I was going to have the sentiment down here and then these guys up top. So whatever it is that you like. You know what I'll do. I will glue that. Um, let's get some dimensionals on that. So I'm just going to pop them on there. And I'll they don't all have to have dimensional. I mean, you can do a variety of some of them being up and some down. I love how gangly this is. It just adds to how you know nice it is, but it is something you have to kind of contend with as you're working here. Okay. So cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then as I'm holding that, I'll also place this little strip and just hold it all at once. Um, yeah, and I will be right back. Okay guys, I mean that is super cute. Really fun really fresh. Um, you know, I can put my sentiment here. I can put a sentiment here. I was just looking at what I want to do. You know, we have the little strip type. We have the little guy that, you, again, the for you or the thanks. You can put it on like your little uh, labels. I think that's really cute. Um, let's do belief in yourself. Let's be a little punny. And I'm thinking about using the green again, this green. So I'm just going to stamp this. This is a very textured kind of card stock. So I'm going to put it on a stamping platform so I have a feeling I'll have to do it a couple times and try to put it up in the very top corner and let's see I'm gonna put it over here just in case I have to do it again and I still have some green <laughs> space there to do that again if I need to Looks good. Okay, I'm going to hit that with a heat tool because this is the Versafine Nocturne and it is very juicy. So I'm going to hit that with a heat tool and then I will choose the die. I think it might be this one. Yeah, it's this guy. And I can see very clearly how to stamp that, you know, or how to cut that out. So I would lay that on there, put some tape, run it through, and I'll be right back. Hey guys. Oh. <laughs> I picked that up to show it to you and it had already fallen out. But there you go. Look at that. And I just eyeballed that. Perfect. Um, thinking. Cute. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's a toughie. I feel like maybe I'll put it right here. That's interesting, huh? Yeah. Let's put some profile um, dimensionals. Sorry, some dimensionals at lower profile than this guy. And I'm going to pop it right hey, there. Guys. So I have my little sentiment with a little bit lower profile dimensional and I think that looks really cute so there's my card uh, thanks for watching guys thank you so much Spellbinder Sunday's Items for review I will have links in the description box um, for this collection for everything new that came out in 2024 April of 2024 um, and whatever else might be necessary to create the card so thanks for watching guys again images coming up links in the description box and I will see you all at the next one bye now